my first coffee memory, I remember having coffee with my grandma. In the old days, my grandma and her friends get together, all they have is coffee. When I was six or seven, and I think that she, she gave me a spoonful, and I made a face, but it was a good face. <laughs> when I was young, I always had a bachelor for coffee. Because I used to drink it, and it used to do something to my body. I've been in coffee since I was 17, so that's pretty much all I know. It's like really the only thing I'm good at, so. <laughs> and I was trying to find my way through school. I just got a job at the local coffee shop. And I worked it and it was great. I enjoyed it and decided that I wanted to do that for the rest of my life. And I think that mostly it was because I had started looking into what the process of the coffee and where it came from and that it, you know, it's like, where, where do these little beans come from? You know, oh, they're not actually beans, they're little seeds. Oh, they come from a fruit. Coffee stayed with me since I was a kid and I grew up. I said one day I'm gonna open coffee shops all over. From the 70s to 98, work at it. In 98, I spent two years, I visited over 1,100 coffee shops, maybe a lot more, just to see why people go to coffee shops. We source the beans from all over the world. We source them from Central America, South America, East Africa, Tokyo, and other places. What I wanted to do when I started Four Barrel Coffee was really get into every aspect of the sourcing coffee and, and the processing and the agronomy and everything else, realizing that there's multiple steps to making a great cup of coffee and that all the way along they have to be executed perfectly, otherwise it won't shine in the end. And we do a lighter roast and that's mostly because with the quality of coffee that we source, once you roast it into the dark roast level, it really homogenizes with the lower quality coffee, so you can't really taste the difference at that point. See, one thing about my coffee, they all were special blends that I create. I spent seven years in one blend. I call it the Sora. Sora means it's my treasure. Each means they were all chosen, all blend with each other, different culture. Beans is like people, people, beans. And these people give me a name and reputation that I cannot buy. Only happen once in a lifetime to people, to us. People love you, your clientele love you. They take you to the moon. And that's what happened to us. But then I really fell in love with coffee when I was a teenager and hanging out at the local coffee shop. You know, back then it was terrible, it was terrible coffee. It was mostly cream and sugar, but the community aspect I really enjoyed. I think it's really important for people to just have a place where they can just show up and, and talk to their neighbors and their friends and to reconnect and find like-minded people. You're surrounded with all this beautiful community. I like my city, I love my city. San Francisco has good name, good reputation, and has every culture in this planet living in San Francisco. It's a small city, seven by seven, but it's huge. I really liked the idea of staying in the neighborhood, staying in the mission. I was I'd been living here the entire time. It was fun to see that this end of Valencia has transform and, and the community really take to it. People talk about Seattle, of course, back in the day. And they used to talk about Seattle and Portland. Now it seems like people are talking about Seattle and San Francisco, or Portland and San Francisco. So San Francisco definitely is, is uh, on the cutting edge of the coffee scene in the entire nation. There's so much romance in coffee that surrounds everything from the sourcing of it and just th thinking about where it comes from and how it got here is such a complicated thing. I think coffee has the unique ability to take you places without even trying. I know for a fact that I was born to make coffee. I have a note from my dad, you know what it says? Let the life I live speaks for me. You like it sweet? And let's have a cup of coffee and talk about it.